because you just don't get it, Ha said. I didn't want to see it either, but now I realize they are never going to put yesterday's cheese back. It's time to find new cheese, Ham argued. But what if there's no cheese out there? Or even if there is? What if you don't find it? I don't know, Ha said. He had asked himself those same questions too many times and felt the fears again that, that kept him where he was. He asked himself, Where am I more likely to find cheese here or in the maze? He painted a picture in his mind. He saw himself venturing out into the maze with a smile on his face. While this picture surprised him, it made him feel good. He saw himself getting lost now and then in the maze, but felt confident he would eventually find new cheese out there and all the good things that came with it. He gathered his courage. Then he used his imagination to paint the most believable picture he could with the most realistic details of him finding and enjoying the taste of new cheese. He saw himself eating Swiss cheese with holes in it, bright orange cheddar and American cheeses, Italian mozzarella and wonderfully soft French camembert cheese, and then... He heard him say something and realized they were still at Cheese Station C. Ha said, Sometimes, him, things change and they are never the same again. This looks like one of those times. That's life. Life moves on, and so should we. Ha looked at his emaciated companion and tried to talk sense to him. But Ham's fear had turned into anger and he wouldn't listen. Ha didn't mean to be rude to his friend, but he had to laugh at how silly they both looked. As Ha prepared to leave, he started to feel more alive. Knowing that he was finally able to laugh at himself, let go and move on. Ha laughed and announced, It's maze time! Ham didn't laugh and he didn't respond. Ha picked up a small, sharp rock and wrote a serious dot on the wall for him to think about. As was his custom, Ha even drew a picture of cheese around it, hoping it would help him to smile, lighten up, and go after the new cheese. But Ham didn't want to see it. It read... If you do not change, you can become extinct. Then, Ha stuck his head out and peered anxiously into the maze. He thought about how he'd gotten himself into this cheeseless situation. He had believed that there may not be any cheese in the maze, or he may not find it. Such fearful beliefs were immobilizing and killing him. Ha smiled. He knew him was wondering, who moved my cheese? But Ha was wondering, why didn't I get up and move with the cheese sooner? As he started out into the maze, Ha looked back to where he had come from and felt its comfort. He could feel himself being drawn back into familiar territory, even though he hadn't found cheese here for some time. Ha became more anxious and wondered if he really wanted to go out into the maze. He wrote a thing on the wall ahead of him and stared at it for some time. What would you do if you weren't afraid? He thought about it. He knew sometimes some fear can be good. When you are afraid things are going to get worse, if you don't do something, it can prompt you into action, but it is not good when you are so afraid that it keeps you from doing anything. He looked to his right, to the part of the maze where he had never been, and felt the fear. Then, he took a deep breath, turned right into the maze, and jogged slowly into the unknown. As he tried to find his way, Ha worried. 
at first that he might have waited too long in cheese station C. He hadn't had any cheese for so long that he was now weak. It took him longer and it was more painful than usual to get through the maze. He decided that if he ever got the chance again, he would get out of his comfort zone and adapt to change sooner. It would make things easier. Then, Ha smiled a weak smile as he thought, better late than never. During the next several days, Ha found a little cheese here and there, but nothing that lasted very long. He had hoped to find enough cheese to take some back to him and encourage him to come out into the maze. But Ha didn't feel confident enough yet. He had to admit he found it confusing in the maze. Things seemed to have changed since the last time he was out here. Just when he thought he was getting ahead, he would get lost in the corridors. It seemed his progress was two steps forward and one step backwards. It was a challenge, but he had to admit that being back in the maze, hunting for cheese, wasn't nearly as bad as he feared it might be. As time went on, he began to wonder if it was realistic for him to expect to find new cheese. He wondered if he had bitten off more than he could chew. Then he laughed, realizing that he had nothing to chew on at that moment. Whenever he started to get discouraged, he reminded himself that what he was doing, as uncomfortable as it was at the moment, was in reality much better than staying in the cheeseless situation. He was taking control rather than simply letting things happen to him. Then he reminded himself, if Sniff and Scurry could move on, so could he. Later, as Ha looked back on things, he realized that the cheese at Cheese Station C had not just disappeared overnight. As he had once believed, the amount of cheese that had been there towards the end had been getting smaller, and what was left had grown old. It didn't taste as good. Mold may even have begun to grow on the old cheese, although he hadn't noticed it. He had to admit, however, that if he had wanted to, he probably could have seen what was coming, but he didn't. Ha now realized that the change probably would not have taken him by surprise if he had been watching what was happening all along and if he had anticipated change. Maybe that's what Sniff and Scurry had been doing. He decided he would stay more alert from now on. He would expect change to happen and look for it. He would trust his basic instincts to sense when change was going to occur and be ready to adapt to it. He stopped for a rest and wrote on the wall of the maze. Smell the cheese often so you know when it is getting old. Sometime later, after not finding cheese for what seemed like a long time, Ha finally came across a huge cheese station, which looked promising. When he went inside, however, he was most disappointed to discover that the cheese station was empty. This empty feeling has happened to me too often, he thought. He felt like giving up. Ha was losing his physical strength. He knew he was lost and was afraid he would not survive. He thought about turning around and heading back to cheese station C. At least, if he made it back, and Ham was still there, Ha wouldn't be alone. Then, he asked himself the same question. Again, what would I do if I weren't afraid? Ha thought he was past his fear. 
but he was afraid more often than he liked to admit, even to himself. He wasn't always sure what he was afraid of, but in his weakened condition, he knew now he was simply fearful of going on alone. Hart didn't know it, but he was running behind because he was still weighed down by fearful beliefs. Ha wondered if Hem had moved on, or if he was still paralyzed by his own fears. Then Ha remembered the times when he had felt his best in the maze. It was when he was moving along. He wrote on the wall, knowing it was as much a reminder to himself as it was a marking for his friend Hem, hopefully to follow. Movement in a new direction helps you find new cheese.